This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. One of the newer selection tools in AutoCAD is the Select Similar command. This command will automatically select all of the objects in your drawing that are similar to the object of your choice. Open up the ice ring file if you haven't already done so. Now select one of the large circles in the bottom left rink. Right click and pick the Select Similar tool. As you can see, all of the circles on that layer have been selected. Now I can do whatever I need to with them. If my properties window is open, I can change their radius, all of them at the exact same time. I could delete them, I could change their layers, their line type, whatever we need to do, it can be done. Otherwise, I would have to go through and pick each one or use the quick select feature and take several steps to filter out what I needed. But in this case, I can right click, select similar, very fast. If I type in select similar, all one word, press enter, I get the command again. I can start selecting my objects or I can type SE to get to my selection settings. The default settings in AutoCAD have the layer and the name turned on. These settings control how the Select Similar command filters the objects to be selected. Whichever category is checked, the Select Similar command must match the other objects to these categories. If nothing is selected, then every object that is the same object type in the file will be picked. Otherwise, it filters out objects that do not have the same values as the ones checked. So when I picked my circles, they had to be on the same layer. Circles typically don't have names. In fact, they don't ever have names. Blocks have names. So if I pick a block on this layer, I will select all of the other blocks of the same name on that layer. I can turn this layer off and the name off, and when I pick a line, every line will be selected. If I pick a hatch pattern, every hatch pattern will be selected. I suggest you leave these two on and don't mess with it too much. Maybe you want the line type and color turned on, but for the most part this is how you're going to want to select your objects. I can pick an object and then by holding the shift key down I can unselect what I don't want very quickly. So if you want to pick a lot of something with a few exceptions, go ahead and pick everything and then unselect the one or two items you want to remove. But if you only need to pick one or two, go with the old fashioned way and just pick it. But if you need them all, use the select similar. 